Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SCMP or SCPM. We are doing a chapter called as Lean System and Innovation. We are going to be doing every possible MCQ that's there in the module. Once that is done, we are going to be covering up all the Board of Studies portal questions also. Let me just remind you that in case you want to be enrolling for a complete course, then uh, the link is there in the description. You all can enroll. Lectures will directly start. Our Telegram channel does give you the updates, whatever you all are doing in this subject to bring a lot of additions to you all. Let's start it off. This chapter is called as Lean System and Innovation. Lean System is basically how to clean up your systems. That is trying to avoid waste. And there are a lot of techniques that are available. And we are trying to be covering that only. Uh, one of the techniques that is there is called as Six Sigma. Six Sigma means uh, it's basically a mathematical term whereby we try to be saying that defect should almost be zero. Now, almost we try to be saying it should be 3.4 per million. So if that is the level that you all can reach, we try to be saying you all have reached Six Sigma. Likewise, any company that has higher defects in this either falls in the criteria of one Sigma, two Sigma, three Sigma, four Sigma, five Sigma, but six Sigma is the best stage whereby defects are almost zero. Almost zero might not be possible. So therefore we say 3.4 per million. And there are two techniques of achieving that. You all have uh, DMAC, D-M-A-I-V. Then you have D-M-A-D-V. This question is all about DMAC. So let's read this question. Which of the following is not a tool used in the defining process of DMAC model of Six Sigma? Okay. Uh, DMAC stands for five things. D, define, M, measure, so on. That will be coming shortly. But... For those people who, are, who already know this chapter, let me give you the four options first. So therefore, you all can reply. Project charter and plan. Second. Second is check sheet. Third. Effort or impact analysis. Fourth one. Process mapping. In case you know the answer, in case you all have done this chapter, time for you all to be commenting just now. Okay. Now see. Now, few things about DMAC, few things about these four options that are there. So, first of all, about DMAC. DMAC, in case there are a lot of waste, in case a lot of defective units are getting produced in your factory. So, then if you want to try to remove those problems, remove those defects, then we try to be saying there are five things that you all can be doing. First, define your problem. This is the first stage over here. Uh, what is the problem that you are facing? Second, in this case, is measure. Unless and until you measure something, you cannot be correcting that. This is a second phase of DMAC. Third is trying to analyze what is the root cause. Then fourth one, in this case, is try to improve. Try to find out what will be the solution of this. And lastly, in this case, try to control. To give you a small example, say that your college or your office, let's talk of office because you all mostly have completed your college. Say that your office starts at 11 o'clock and every day you all reach late to office. Every day, okay, you all reach at 12, then you have to be making some excuse. So you try to be thinking, sir, I want to be improving this process. Okay, define the problem. I'm reaching late. Second, measure how much time you're reaching late. Say that 11 o'clock is the reporting time. You reach every day, say at 12 o'clock. So therefore, one hour. Then try to be finding out what's the root cause. Do you get up late? Okay. Or in the morning, do you go to some class and that class gets over late? Okay. Try to find out the root cause. Fourth one, try to be improving. In case you get up late, okay, try to put an alarm. And in that case, try like, you know, that uh, you get up on time. For that, whatever alarm bells, whatever alarms are required, try to be doing that. Try to put one alarm, two alarm, three alarm, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So try to find out the solution. And lastly, suppose with this getting up early, suppose like, you know, that was a root cause. If you get up early, you were reaching late, one hour late. Nah? Okay. So therefore try to reach one hour early. Okay. Um, uh, means if you were reaching by say 12 o'clock, you have to reach by 11 o'clock. So therefore you have to get up one hour before also. No? Now, suppose you got up one hour before and now you have started to reach on time. Then try to control this because your solution has worked. Try to be controlling this entire process. How? Whatever you have done, like, you know, getting up early every single day, try to do that on a continuous manner. Try to be controlling that. Okay. Try to standardize the process. I will sleep at this time. I'll get up at this particular time. I'll put three alarms. I'll try to keep my phone bit away. So therefore I have to get up and off the alarm, so on and so forth. Okay. These are five steps that are there to solve some problems that are there. Okay. Now, 
the question was the question was that which of these do not come in the defining stage okay project charter and plan check sheet effort or impact analysis and lastly process mapping now ICA has not discussed what are all these things I'm trying to discuss that with some examples that I can so first thing in this case is project charter project charter is a small document which is there which highlights like you know what will be the use of undertaking this entire thing you are why the hell you are trying to undertake this entire problem what benefits will it get this document is usually also useful for the shareholders to tell them like you know why the hell we are trying to take over or trying to solve this problem for us okay it can also be used as a marketing tool if you all want for your shareholders in order like you know if you want to get this kind of a project approved by the shareholders this document gives you all those things like you know what is the problem that we are facing how like you know that if we undertake this how this problem will be getting solved so on okay so this is there in the defining stage only okay this is first one project charter second one check sheet now check sheet in real life is always used whenever the work is getting done and you want to be measuring it how many errors were done okay like you know whatever work you all are doing okay whatever work you are doing in your factory okay you want to be measuring that so therefore later on if you are not doing good work i have the data see measuring stage is what you need to be measuring example the goods that you are producing are not of great quality okay so therefore you need to be measuring how many units are defective for that check sheet is very useful okay you can keep on adding whatever you all want just one kind of an illustration i have like you know say that wrong orders we placed say three on monday you have those tally marks late deliveries we try to be having like you know approximately eight tally marks so on and so forth okay so therefore try to be measuring see this is measuring we are trying to find out numbers so obviously if this is measuring this will not be coming in the defining state this will be covering in the measuring stage okay then the third one over here in this case is impact or effort matrix okay what is this I'll read out whatever is there in front of you and impact or effort matrix is a tool used by the project managers to help assess the potential impact and the effort required for each task in the project. See every task, sorry, every project will consist of small, small tasks. You can try to be thinking every task is one activity. There will be effort. There will be impact of it. We want to be uh, seeing this, which tasks will have maximum efforts required okay and which will have maximum impact on the outcome we would like to highlight all those activities that is put in form of a matrix okay just a illustration is there in front of you okay not relevant for your portion but just like you know i'm trying to be saying that and this is always put in the defining stage only because this usually will give an idea which activities will require more effort from my from our side and which activities will be having in this case highest amount of impact so all these things are there in the defining stage we all have not started till now okay we all have not started to solve the problem we are just trying to be thinking in this case which activities will require more amount of effort from our side okay and lastly you all have process mapping process mapping simple thing there is a way to be doing each and every task. There should be a flow chart that should be made. That flow chart is going to be called as process mapping. It is there in all the IT companies. Whenever any software is getting developed, they try to be seeing like, you know, that which thing should be done first, which should be done next, which should be done in a parallel way. Okay, flow chart gives you an idea of activities. Till now, you all have not started with the project okay so this thing is always put in the defining stage so therefore you know which activity to be done first which next up and so on a simple flow chart could be looking something like this over here that is there in front of your screen right now okay obviously this is also there in the defining stage so now coming back to the question which of the following is not a tool used in the defining stage of DMAC model so therefore check sheet should be the answer check sheet is always used in the measuring state uh, in a measuring stage not in the defining state so therefore answer in this case should be b that should be the correct answer i'll see you all next time in another question take care till that time happy learning bye